Hello everyone, this is Tony from the Mississippi Pickers and today's video will be a little different. As you all know, I am a big proponent of taking your daily vitamins. I started taking these before the pandemic and they really helped me a lot so I became quite the vitamin popper you might say but I don't take a lot of vitamins I only take uh, certain ones I take a fish oil I take um, this vitamin D3 and I take elderberry almost forgot elderberry anyway those are the three vitamins that I take and I take those every day I've been taking those every day for the last two years. Uh, I recently discovered something about my vitamin D3, though, that I found a little disturbing. Now, Nature Made is, uh, this, this is my brand of choice. You can use any brand you want, obviously. But I found something that has disturbed me now you may have noticed on some of your pills they'll have this little emblem on them it says USP and the USP symbol I don't know what that stands for it's Maybe it's United States Pharmaceuticals or something like that. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it says on there, but it's in little bitty writing and I can't read it. <laughs> so, the thing is, um, if your pills have this U.S., your vitamins, I would say. If your vitamins have this USP symbol on them, that means they're certified by the USP. If they, and this is the same bottle now, this is a, this is a 2000 IU a vitamin D3. This is 2000 IU vitamin D3. They're identical in every way, except this one's not certified. Now, this is a 1000 milligram <laughs> not milligram a 1000 IU 25 micrograms um, of vitamin D3 this one is also certified by USP now up until this month I never paid that any attention at all Quite by accident, I got these two certified bottles. And I noticed a difference. I noticed an immediate difference. The pills for the USP are bigger than the non-certified. And if you look at them just in your hand, you probably will never notice any difference whatsoever. Now, I did notice the difference because I take them every day. So, what I decided to do was to test them and see if there was a difference. When I say test them, I don't mean having them chemically tested, which I would love to do. But I don't have the resources to do that. But I do have a nice little gold scale here. Which we are going to weigh these things on. And to see if there's any difference at all. This is a bottom to a styrofoam cup. I just cut it out so that they would hold the pills. And let's see if I can... Thing's going to count down, calibrate itself down to zero. 
and just to make sure that this is right this 214 on the top don't just ignore that uh, that's this is a price and you know if you were selling gold which isn't right I haven't said it but the gram weight will be correct I have it set for grams you see the little G over here I've got it set for grams so I'm gonna tar it out anyway just to just to make sure that it's zeroed out properly all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh the non certified all right we're gonna see I'm gonna take three of these which is what I take every day I take three which is 6,000 IU of vitamin D3 so this would be I don't think I can get all that in there anyway this is gonna be the the non-certified point eight is what it's showing point eight of a gram all right so now we know what this is the again this is the non-certified the non-certified is 0.8 of a gram the question is is there a difference I think there is all right this is the USP certified and we're going to take the same amount three pills now I can physically see a difference myself because I take them every day so I know they're bigger I just don't know how much look at that a full gram a full gram that's interesting isn't it all right and that is the USP certified has a full gram so there's 0.2 grams missing from the non-certified all right so I thought maybe that's just a fluke right however I have another bottle here same thing vitamin D3 2000 IU gel caps non-certified all right we're gonna test these All right. Point 8 exactly the same as the other uncertified bottle. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Now this is 1000 IU but it's certified what will its weight be let's put these on here look at that this is the certified 1000 IU let me uh, see if I can 
straighten that image out a little bit here. There we go. Certified. And this is the one 1000 IU. 1000 IU, and it's got more in it than the 2000. Isn't that interesting? That was the 1000. And now we'll uh, we'll check the certified 2000 once more. Just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. There's three of them. And look at there. Got the same measurement as the one. But it's a full two to three point two to point three grams more than the non-certified so does that make a difference I don't know it is kind of scary to think that you're not getting what you're paying for though both of these non-certified bottles had less in them than both of the certified bottles. I guess uh, you just have to draw your own conclusions from that. That uh, really kind of upset me when I when I saw it, but. Um, from now on, I will be looking for that seal. And if I don't find the seal on it, I'm not going to buy it. Plain and simple. That's it. Have a great day.